Alright, this is One Last Midnight, and welcome back to another episode of the Dyson Sphere program. Today we're going to look at the Orbital Collector. And in order to get the Orbital Collector, you're going to have to do a ton of research. A previous video that I did, which was uh, how to ship items between planets, this is actually part of that whole process. You're going to need to unlock the Interplanetary Logistics System before you can get to the gas giant exploitation. There's a couple other additional things that you're going to need. You're gonna need energy storage, and you're also gonna need interstellar power transmission. Well, interstellar power transmission is really not needed, but it is very useful to have. In order to build the orbital collector, first you're gonna to have to make the logistics station. And then you're going to have to make the interstellar logistics station because the orbit collector requires you to have an interstellar logistics station and the interstellar logistics station requires you to have a logistics station. So you can see the mass amount of things that you need to build just to get to the orbit collector. You're also going to need to build accumulators. You're going to need to build 20 of them. And you have to have a charged accumulator to build the orbital collector. There's one of two ways that you can charge the accumulator. The first way is just placing them down into your power network. And what will happen is they'll start charging over time. This is okay. I mean, it's not a, a bad way to charge your accumulator, but it's not the most efficient way to charge your accumulator. Instead, what you can do is you can use a power exchanger. And the power exchanger transfers that energy directly from the power exchanger into the accumulator. So you load it up with accumulators and it instantly starts charging them. Like I said, this is a really quick way to charge your accumulators. Once you have all the resources needed, start building your orbit collectors. It's going to take some time. Unless you have production stations set up for all the subcomponents to build your orbit collector, you're going to have to manually produce all of those subcomponents. And that just takes a few minutes. Once your orbit collectors have been created, then you just take off and fly to your local gas giant. Mine happens to be really close by. Now, this is important. Once you're there on the gas giant, what you're going to need to find the equator. The easiest way to do that is to take your orbit collector and just hold it out in front of you and fly, honestly. You can look on your map in the lower left-hand corner to kind of get an indication of where the horizon is. It's going to be in the center of the planet. Then your orbit collector can actually snap. Now, you're going to need a lot of room between orbit collectors. So when you're going to put down your second or your third or your fourth one, you're going to, they're going to be spaced out a pretty great distance. Once you place it down and it gets built, it automatically starts sucking up gases. And you can see that the gas that it collects. Right now it's collecting hydrogen and it's also collecting deuterium. The gases from a gas giant are infinite. So you can put down as many of these as you want to and just harvest away and you will get a ton of hydrogen and deuterium over time. Once you have all of your orbit collectors placed, then go back to your home planet or wherever you're picking up this gas at. The final phase is actually using the items and you're going to need to have an interstellar logistics station somewhere where you're consuming these resources, the hydrogen and the deuterium. And you're also going to have to stockpile that with logistic vehicles so that it can fly back and forth and pick up uh, the deuterium and the hydrogen from your gas giant. And you can see I'm using my hydrogen and deuterium in here. Hydrogen is a great fuel, and it's used for a couple different things. One, it's a byproduct of the whole oil production line. It's also used in making the red matrix cubes. But on top of that, I use it as a fuel source to power a bunch of generators. 
and they're super efficient. And since you're getting a large quantity of hydrogen, might as well use it. You can also use the hydrogen in the miniature particle accelerator to generate deuterium. So when you're at that stage and you want to start making the deuterium fuel rods, not only for use in your mecha, but also you can use those deuterium fuel rods in the mini fusion power station. So a couple different uses for the gases. Highly effective to be able to stick multiple orbit collectors on your gas giant and just harvest those resources. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about the Orbit Collector. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.